I, I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to shoot a webcast this morning. Because there's something I want to say that I want to say here, but I want to say to the world out there. Have you noticed the craziness of this world, a sifting that's going on? Have you noticed the nonsense? My gosh, it just, it fell on me like an avalanche this week. All the crazy stuff that people are teaching about God. Did you know that Jesus got his name when he went into Jerusalem during the triumphal entry? So says some Christian expert. He says that on one side of the street, the people were yelling, Jehovah! And on the other side, the people were yelling for their God, Zeus! And when they all yelled together, it sounded like, Jesus! <laughs> no! No, I won't go there. Oh my gosh, the insanity. I have two pastor friends who are pastors with the Southern Baptist Convention. And one of them, a friend from Arizona, he went down recently to the Southern Baptist Convention because they had a large number of sexual abuse cases that came forward through their, you know, a few of their churches. Not, not all the churches. I'm not trying to paint the Baptists bad. I'm saying that there was a problem. And so they hired an independent investigator. The investigator came back and said, there are serious issues. There are real cases. There are real victims. And my friend from Arizona, he said, then we must, and he brought a motion before the body. He said, we must turn this report over to law enforcement. They said, it's not our place. I have a good friend from Aberdeen. They go to the Mennonite church. And the governing body for the Mennonites has just come out and said, we can no longer call those things that God calls a sin a sin. We want to rewrite it because some sins just aren't sins. And we will speak for God when he screws up. Oh. And my friend is just not knowing what to do. There's this craziness that's going on in the world. A woman I was speaking with came and she said, but there are... Muslims and Buddhists and people of all different faiths who love their God. And that's great. That's wonderful. Just love them and leave them alone. She said, don't get your knickers in a knot. And it's just like, <sighs> there was a talk given when I was still LDS. President Benson said, the living prophet is more vital than every dead prophet and the scriptures. Which means that the man living today can reverse Moses and Elijah. He can reverse John the Baptist and Paul. And since the only place we have the word of Jesus is in the Bible, he can reverse that too. So here's what I just want to say. Guys, we have got to be anchored in the word of God. And you know what? They're my knickers. If I want to get them in a knot, I will get them in a knot according to the word of God and according to the spirit that lives in me. Ah, we have got to stand up against this. And if you are not anchored in God, if you're not anchored in his word, please get there. Just please, please get there.